Hey guys, it's B. I'm going to do a quick review on CoverGirl's Smoky Shadow Blasts. Uh, and the I have two colors. I've got their gray and purple, and then their pink and um, plum um, colors. I want to do a, a quick review on these. Um, I'm going to have to be honest. This isn't one of the my more positive reviews. Uh, I was sucked in by the commercial, which I'm not usually, uh, I don't usually fall for stuff like that. But the commercial got me because, first of all, they made it seem like it was super pigmented and they made it seem like that it was so easy. And I was like, wow, I would like to be able to put on my eyeshadow that fast in the morning. But I should have known better that commercials, you know, they just are not very truthful and there's all other things that they do and they are not using it by itself and the lighting and all of that stuff. So I should have known better, but I fell for it. But um, I actually, I got them on sale. I got them at a Walgreens, I think. A Walgreens or a Rite Aid, one of those drugstores. And they were buy one, get one 50% off. So I did get it, you know, I did get them on sale. So I was like, well, let me try it. If I'm going to try it, I've been wanting to try it. Let me, let me get them and let me try them. So... Let me just do a couple of reviews. Let me let me start with this one first, the gray one, the smoky eyed one. So the first end is the step one and it's kind of a rounded tip and it's this silvery color. And um, this is supposed to go basically on your lid and, and stuff like that. And then this is the crease color step two and this is more of a like light purple light purplish kind of stuff. So this is so to give you a smoky eye. I'll go ahead and give you my swatches. I've already swatched them. And it's these colors right here. Make sure you can see them. And you can't see them too, too well. There we go. It's the silver right here and then the purple. So that's three little, like I, I swatched, I did it three times. I went shoo, shoo, shoo. So as you can see, it's not super pigmented at all. But um, it's it's a nice subtle color, but it's definitely not going to give you the smoky eye effect that you you want. Another thing is is that they it creases really bad. You cannot use this by itself. You have to put first of all you can't put much on, which you're trying to put a lot on so you can get the color that you're wanting. So it's kind of frustrating, but you can't you can't put too much on because it'll crease fast because it's a cream consistency. So, and then after using a little bit of color, then you have to use dry power on top of that to make sure that it kind of dries. And that was with um, an eyeshadow primer. So yeah, here's the swatches for this. This is like a baby, like a baby pink color. And I got this color because I really like purples and it's like a deep plum for the crease color. And notice that this side is pointy because it's meant to go in the crease and as a liner. But uh, yeah. So let me do, let me show you the swatches for these. Okay. Um, eh. Okay. So you can see the baby pink and then the burgundy plum. It's more burgundy, I guess. And that's the only one, this color is the only one that really showed up. So yeah, that's my review. Um, if you're thinking about going out and getting this, I would have to say I don't recommend it. And I try to find the positive. Um, you can make it work, but there are like there's too many products out there to try to make stuff work. So they're not they're not super cheap either. So to me, it was not worth the money. So I'm hoping I should have watched a YouTube video on reviews to to get a review on it. So. I'm hoping I might save some people money and um, try some other cream shadows and, and things like that, that that might work a little bit better. So that's my review on CoverGirl's Smoky Shadow Blast. So I hope this was helpful.